Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to my YT channel literature with Emma hope you all will be fine today i'm here with another modern poet thomas john eliot t eliot t eliot was born in st louis in 1888 and died on january 4 1965 he was an american english poet play writer literary critic and editor a leader of modernist movement in poetry in such works as the wasteland in 1922 and four quartets in 1943 life of this year 1917 he established himself as an important even guard poet in 1905 he became the director of the publishers faber and faber in 1930 for the next 30 years he was considered as the most dominant figure in in poetry and literary criticism in the english speaking world next we have uh, his works before the conversion In 1917 he wrote Prophet and other observations in 1922 The Wasteland it is said to be the single most influential poetic work of the 20th century and in 1925 he wrote The Hollow Man Another point we have his unification of sensibility this phrase was first used by T.S. Eliot in his essay on the metaphysical poets of this early 17th century by unification of sensibility t silhouette means a fusion of thought and feeling simply means a poetry and a direct sensuous apprehension of thought this also means a poetry objective correlative for t silhouette the objective correlative is a pattern of object events actions or a situation that can serve effectively to awaken in the reader an emotional response without being a direct statement of that subjective emotion Next point we have symbols in his poetry. Yes, T. S. Eliot is one of the most influential poet of the modern age. T. S. Eliot adopts certain conventional symbols and images in his poetry. In four quartets, uh, T. S. Eliot uses a few recurring symbols such as the river, the sea, the rise and the rock. Mark that T. S. Eliot you makes use of these two symbols in four quartets. Such as I do not know much about God, but I think the river is a strong brown God. So uh, here we have conclusion of his T. S. Eliot. T. S. Eliot critical tenets invaluable aids to understanding and appreciation of poetry. In objectivity and scientific attitude, T. S. Eliot resembles Aristotle. New criticism greatly in depth to T. S. Eliot. Thanks guys for watching my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more amazing content